This effect is super easy to create. I'm gonna show you how in just a few minutes. Let's jump in. So starting with the blank presentation, the first thing we wanna do is throw in a copy of the National Park logo. I just grabbed this as a PNG off Google. You can also search for it using the insert pictures, online pictures. And then we wanna insert a text box and type in our title, which is the US National Parks. We're gonna go ahead and change that font to a classic like Aroni, and then we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. We wanna size our text so that it basically fits a little bit just inside our logo. We also wanna throw in our subtext, which I'm saying is preserving our greatest treasure. We're also gonna change the font here. I'm gonna do Montserrat, and we're just make that a little bit bigger and change the width just a hair. We wanna line that up as well, and then we'll group those and make sure they are centered on this logo. Lastly, we wanna add a little bit of drop shadow. So I'm gonna do shape format, open that format pane, and we'll go to text options, select the shadow, and we'll do a drop shadow. This will just make it stand out ever so slightly and create that 3D effect. We also wanna create that same effect with the actual logo. So I'm gonna go and reduce that transparency down a hair and increase that blur. Again, it just adds that little bit of depth. You can kind of see it right there to make it stand off. So that's our title slide done. The next thing we need to do is create that transition, that checkerboard transition. So we're gonna duplicate the slide and we're gonna select transitions, open it up, and we're going to find the checkerboard transition. And if we slow it down, we'll slow it down to six or so. And if we click preview, we can count the rows and columns. So we have five rows and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So that's the table size that we're gonna need. So we're gonna go to insert table and we want a seven by five table. We're gonna throw that in and make it the full width of the slide. So change that all there. And we're gonna change the actual fill of the table to be all white, just to show what that looks like now. If we go to transitions and do preview, it transitions to that white screen. But if we start to select some of our table and we go to home and change the shape fill to no fill, let me do these as well. You can begin to get a sense of what the effect will look like. So now if we transition, it reveals in that table format. So we're gonna speed up that transition again. We'll make it something like 1.5, so it's a little bit faster. And now we just need to throw in some cool pictures of the different national parks. So we're gonna start with Yosemite, went over to Unsplash and found this awesome picture. So I'm gonna make that the full width of the slide and crop it down just a hair, position it where I want it. And then I'm going to actually cut this. So Command X, go to Design, Format Background, and then Picture or Texture Fill, and we'll do Clipboard. So now we have that awesome picture as our background. We're gonna go ahead and make it so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna move this table off for just a minute. We'll, we'll move it back. And I'm gonna move this table off for just a minute so we can adjust some of these. Gonna ungroup those and delete that logo. And this is Yosemite. Make that just a little bit bigger and we're going to right justify it. Same thing with this. We're gonna right justify it and add in some subtext. It's some of the best big wall climbing in the world. So big rock wall climbing is really popular here. There's a couple of documentaries about it. Would highly recommend watching them. We're gonna make that a little bit thicker and now the magic happens where we pull our table back up and we're going to select all of those and we're gonna send the table backwards. So I'm gonna move these over just a hair and we're gonna select that one as well. And then we're just gonna add a couple different areas where we fill in with white. We'll do no fill there. And so now we have this really cool effect. I'll do one more. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this and rinse and repeat. This time we'll do something like the Grand Canyon. So paste in that picture from Unsplash. Go ahead and cut that. Go to design, format background, and then paste it in. And we'll change this to the Grand Canyon. And I'm gonna left justify this. So we're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. We'll make it just a little bit smaller so it fits on those four. I'll center it and now I'll make just that portion white. We'll have our same subtext area right here. We're gonna go ahead and make that white as well. Move that over and we're gonna left justify it. Throw in a really cool fact about the Grand Canyon that it's over 6,000 feet deep, over a mile deep at its deepest, while being nearly 18 miles wide. 
at its widest. It is a truly an enormous natural wonder. And then again, we're just gonna do some no fill on a lot of these and we'll figure out based on the shapes what makes sense there to fill in. So I think one right here, you want to be a little bit random seeming to really kind of sell that effect while also still being connected. So these are all kind of connected and you still get that really good idea of the Grand Canyon. If we do the transition, it looks really, really clean, really sells that effect. Then we just rinse and repeat to get something like this. And if you don't wanna go through all that work, this and all my other stuff is on my Patreon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Hope you have a great day and thanks for watching all the way through.